How are you guys doing? Good, sir. How are you? Good, man. Just checking on my son. He's impaired. Driving. It's impaired? Mm -hmm. He's currently in custody for DUI. DUI. Did he, did he blow? Okay. We're at that point right now where he's asking if he's willing to blow or not. Cool. Let me find my way real quick to see where this is. Crazy. Sorry about this. Turn around. Somebody, I guess. Yeah, we'll be two. Jeez. But the, if he refuses, he's just going. He's going to lose his license. I think he has refused. I think that's where this, that's where we are with it. Give me a second. So if he refuses, he's going to have the opportunity to go to a, a driver's license hearing, where he can get a hardship driver's license. Um, if this is his first DUI, then there's methods they can use to um, reduce the, the charges. I mean, there's different things that they can do with your attorney. You should be able to figure all that out. Yeah, he says it's his first DUI. Yeah, he should be. What was he doing? Was he speeding or what was his deal? His move over. Excuse me? Move over. What does move over mean? That's when the officers are working on the side of the road. He changed lanes. He went by us at 51. Yeah, boy. Well, these damn kids get more than they need to. Unbelievable. Street. We're going to take him to the main station. We're going to give him the opportunity to, I think he's refused, so we're going to give him the opportunity to still provide a breath sample regardless. And then um, if it's still, if, it, if, it, if he still refuses, then um, he'll just get a DUI citation and then he's going to go to the county jail after that. He's got to spend eight hours from the time of the arrest. Where's the main station? 645 Pierce Street. Is that downtown? Yes, sir. Is that across from the empty park over there? Yes, sir. Yeah. What's going on with those two idiots? They're just yelling and screaming. She's very upset. What's, what's uh, the status? He says he can't make up his mind right now. Yeah, I'm going to take him down to the instrument and uh, sort of get that opportunity. Okay. Yeah, you're going to have to do that regardless. 
Officer said he's down at the downtown station across that end park where we were, we were going down and feeding all the homeless people down there. I think that's the one right down there. All right. So. Well, there's, there's no reason for you to stay up there, both of them, and then I'm going to bail him out. That should be it. Let's go spend eight hours. 
hold on a second. I'm sorry, what was that, boss? He's going to spend eight hours in, in custody. He's going to be there eight hours? He's got to spend eight hours. By state law, he's got to spend eight hours in custody. Okay, well, he's going to spend eight hours in custody. And, uh, then I'll get him out. Can I talk to him? Uh, oh, good. Five, five, I can, can you come back it. here real quick? I can take her in the car in the house. I'll run a survivor test and everything about him. If you trust me. Just one second. I'm asking 585 to back up. Can you talk to him real quick? Okay. Can you back up so we can talk to him real quick? I was gonna, yeah, I can do that. I was just gonna get your phone number real quick for him. So, okay. Good. Why don't you back away first? Okay. Um, um, so, at the end of the day, <laughs>
Okay. All right, cool. We didn't know that. Um, so what about what about when he gets to the station? Thank you, guys. That's all right.